Hey, it's Steve Acho with Local Stew. We are here at the West Bloomfield High School for the 2010 Relay for Life. Whether you're a team captain, a team member, a volunteer, or just someone who has stopped by to see what all the great fun is about, we need all of you. You are the ones that help make a difference. The American Cancer Society provides incredible life-saving information and services to help people navigate their cancer journey, but all funds and research that we raise here today to help save lives. Oh, the land of the free and the home of the brave. It is so important that all of you are out here, as you know, uh, to uh, fight this uh, dreaded disease. Uh, it has touched uh, all of our families. This disease touches everybody. Uh, it is personal for me as well. It touched my mother, who was diagnosed with breast cancer. But I'm very, uh, very pleased to say that uh, she has now been cancer-free for many years and is a survivor of breast cancer. We have to continue to research so we have more survivors like my mom and the survivors that are going to be kicking off uh, this relay here today, walking and caring about this so important cause. We will make that progress. So thank you for being out here. It is important. And let's make this a very successful again, event once again. We've got a lot more research that we have to do. And uh, I had the opportunity to be at the National Institutes of Health. Awesome, great breakthroughs that are on the verge. So we're, we're making progress, but we all got to come together collectively to keep this momentum going. And, and we're doing that today with everybody. It's just a privilege and an honor to be here. Well, and you are, you're local. Where do you live? I live in uh, Bloomfield Township. No, I mean, what's your exact street address? Uh, I'm totally kidding, totally kidding. Thanks so much for supporting the event. Oh, it's great to be here, great to be here. Thank you for all you do. Monique Berman, what are you doing here today? I am a cancer survivor. I was diagnosed with breast cancer seven years ago. And you survived. And I survived. That's and so I'm great. trying to make a difference for other cancer survivors. How many years have you been at this event? Uh, six years. Six, six years. years. So tell us about what, what are these purple shirts all about? The survivors are wearing purple shirts, and in the first lap, we each held a purple balloon, and after we made that first lap, we released the balloons with a wish for the future. Uh, I'm State Representative Lisa Brown, proud to represent West Bloomfield Township of Wolverine Lake. All right, we love you here, Lisa. So what are you doing here today? We're supporting the West Bloomfield Relay for Life. It's an amazing event. Uh, the survivors just took their lap, and it's just so heartwarming to see so many people who have been fighting this awful disease and are here today to well, we're saying happy birthday to them and right. celebration. Um, well, this event over the last four years has become really near and dear to our heart. Um, we had a daughter who battled cancer for almost five years and just passed away this springtime. And she just loved doing this because it was really one of the only cancer events where kids can be a part of it. And um, one of her best friends started this in honor of her, and then the two of them became team captains. And um, we've just grown and grown. We have almost 300 people on our team that come to walk every year. So uh, tell us about Team Cancer Busters and what you're doing here. Well, Team Cancer Busters was formed about three years ago. Um, the, the main coaches, myself and two of my fraternity brothers from college, um, all lost our mothers to some form of cancer. And we felt that this event would be uh, a tribute to all of that. So tell us your name. Annette Edelman. Annette Edelman. And uh, what are you doing here today with all this stuff? I am happy to be here to support cancer. And I'm selling my new line, which is Sex of Life. They are eco-friendly systems. Um, all the bags start small and expand in somehow, some way. They expand, for instance, you know, this little thing turns into this backpack. Oh, oh, here he is. Uh, doing uh, about 50 miles or so. Uh, 50 miles? Yeah, and I just keep going uh, a couple miles at a time, one step at a time. And, so uh, double marathon, pretty much. Yeah, pretty much, pretty much. So I'll be here all 24, fourth year now. I'm a three-time survivor, and my wife died in 07 of pancreatic cancer. Uh, I'm sorry about that. And you've survived, and you're a three-time survivor. I had melanoma three times. And I got sunscreen on. <laughs> oh, that was my next question, just to make sure. We are so thankful for all the survivors that we have in our lives. And so this is just a little token of appreciation, something I can do for them. I kind of 
um, got inspired um, a few years ago just visiting this relay. My husband is a two-time cancer survivor. My mother is also a two-time cancer survivor, as well as many of my young cousins. And I thought, you know, I'm blessed to have so many survivors in my life that this is a way for me to give back to them and to everybody.